been doing quite a bit of cleaning up with these tomatoes this morning. We started clearing up bottoms of every plant so we can get good airflow underneath. That's really important as you're going through summer months. Because we're also getting quite a few tomatoes coming on these plants in here as well. And if I just give you a quick look, you'll see to what degree I've cleared that bottom. But ignore the floor itself, I haven't weeded it yet. You can see that there's quite a gap below these plants now. And that's exactly how you want to be doing them. And then let that plant carry on growing. You can also see how much that butternut squash plant has grown over the last few days. But you will notice a pattern on your tomato plants. As they grow, you're going to get a branch. And then above that, you're going to get a truss with all your fruit growing on it. And then it'll repeat as it goes up. You get a couple of branches, some more tomatoes and so on. So when we get to this point, I take away all these branches. So this is all left clear. So this bottom branch there is not actually doing anything. So I can just break that off. And we've got plenty of aeration around the base of this plant. And we'll get more sun on those tomatoes as well. And that's round about as much as I'll clear that base. There's plenty of room. And then we can see all weeds that we need to clear out as well. So it's serving two purposes. Now well, that'll be the job this afternoon. Getting all this weeding done at the same time. Because we are starting to get quite a few tomatoes on these plants as well now. So that just keeps your plants nice and tidy all the way through the season. And they'll also be a lot healthier because of that. And we're basically doing it to every plant that we've got. While at the same time pinching off those suckers and tying these tomatoes to that cane as they grow taller and taller. And that way you can keep your plants in check. They won't just become out of control, big masses of branches. So it's pretty straightforward. At the same time, we've still got that bit of a problem in container garden with those romaine lettuces. They've grown a lot bigger than I thought they would. And we've put three at the front and a cucumber at the back. And I'm just worried that because they've grown so big, that those lettuce are gonna start and smother that cucumber plant. So I'm gonna pop down there, I'm gonna take one of those lettuces out because it's perfectly eatable. Before it even becomes a head of lettuce, and then we'll be doing that cucumber plant a favor. At the same time, you may have noticed, we've got quite a few cucumbers on go as well. We've got a plant that's got two on it that's a good size. We've got another plant in container garden that's got three on it. And the problem is, you're gonna find that they're all gonna come ready to harvest at the same time, and you just can't eat them all. They'll last longer than one of your supermarket ones in your fridge, because they're straight off at vine, fresh, homegrown veg. But when you start picking three or four at a time, eventually you're gonna to get to a point where you're gonna to have to start throwing some away. But we're gonna sort that out through a cooking channel because we're gonna pickle some of that cucumber. So we can pick one to eat over a period or a week or even two, because it will store for quite a while, while at the same time picking another to pickle that'll then last a couple of months. So once again, not wasting any of this produce that we're growing. That's what we'll do. We'll go get that lettuce, we'll pick one of those cucumbers, and then I'll put a video on Cooking Channel showing you how we pickle those cucumbers. And the link's in the description for Cooking Channel if you're not part of that channel as well. So let's go and get this lettuce out and do this cucumber plant a favour. Just before we pop down to sort out these lettuces, I want to thank you very much to Debbie Tan, who made a donation to the channel yesterday. Very much appreciated, Debbie. And as always, we'll put that money straight back into this channel because we're definitely getting ready for a bit more compost and maybe even some feed. So that helps us out quite a lot. So thank you very much for that, Debbie. I really appreciate it. So you'll have seen this recently. That's that container. And this is the lettuce. But it's gone crazy. And I think this cucumber plant's struggling a little. So we'll get one out. Oh, 
That's a big lettuce. Now I know exactly what the problem is. I've actually put six lettuce in here. There's no wonder it's struggling. Well, I definitely didn't realise I'd done that. We've got six lettuces growing in this container and that's the reason why everything's struggling. So I've took two out and now you can see this plant is getting a bit smothered. So we've got leaves that are starting to rot and we don't want that. So we're going to have to pinch some of these leaves away before it gets any worse. Just clean it up a little bit. We don't want those on plant because we have got cucumbers growing on here. And I'm going to take that leaf away as well because that's no good anymore either. And we'll see if we can get this plant to pick up a little. And we've got some yellowing leaves on this lettuce as well. So we'll clean that up at the same time. That's given everybody a little bit more space. That looks a lot better now. My bad. I didn't realise that I'd put six lettuces in that container. Which is far too many. I don't know what made me do that. I think I assumed that they wouldn't grow much bigger than a little gem. But they definitely do. What we've got quite a bit of lettuce and this one was just starting to become a head of lettuce as well but that'll be nice and crispy so we've got some extra salad in the fridge now and we'll just take away those outer leaves clean it up before we take it indoors I'm pretty sure there's a few critters that won't mind munching on that So we better find something to do with this because it's not going to keep for too long in the fridge. This one's a little bit smaller. But if we just go through, take away any poor looking leaves. If we're going to get a lot of lettuce like this, we might as well only keep the decent parts of it. Slightly smaller, but a nice head of lettuce again. Let's go and get a cucumber. So we're back into this greenhouse. And as we saw quite recently, we've got two on this plant. This one is a good size. So I'm gonna take that and we can at least make up one jar of pickled cucumber. But obviously these two cucumbers they're going to be ready to harvest pretty much at the same time. So we'll twist that off there. We've got a nice little cucumber and it's really nice and firm. So it's going to last quite a while. And we'll let that other one grow on. Albeit forced, we've just harvested as first cucumber a year. And it's a pretty good size. Two heads and lettuce. We're going to have to have a bit of salad over the next few days because I'm not wasting this. But at least we've solved that little mystery. We know now why that cucumber plant's been struggling. Because we didn't have three lettuce in that container. We put six in. A bit of a misjudgment on my part. Not realising just how big these lettuces get. We'll get these tucking doors, pop them in the fridge, keep them fresh. And then maybe tomorrow we'll do a video on pickling cucumber to make that harvest last as long as possible and I'll be back with another video again tomorrow and then it's going to be time for his monthly video of what to sow and grow so what to sow and grow in July will be on the 1st of July so we all know exactly what direction we're going in over those few weeks if you're not already subscribed to the channel and want to see what else we harvest over the next few weeks please Hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.